gonna work. I can't believe it. Don't draw attention. <sighs> Stephen Yun drew lots of attention for his role in the zombie TV series, The Walking Dead. Now he's winning notice for a new role that's nothing like the one that made him a star. He's talking with our Tracy Smith. Stephen Yun has zombies to thank for his runaway career. For six seasons on the mega hit, The Walking Dead, Yun played fan favorite Glenn Ree. Those roll up those at the front of the store facing the street. Pizza delivery guy turned zombie slayer. Did you have any idea what you were getting into when you read for that part? No, I was just trying to work. To be, you know what I mean? Like, I was just trying to work. You the new sheriff? Come riding in to clean up the town? Was my intention? Yeah, whatever. Yeehaw. For Yun, Glenn represented someone not seen on TV before. An Asian American character that wasn't explicitly defined by his race or talked about in that way. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here in one piece. Living piece. The living part is important. Still, Glenn had limits. He's always a good guy. He has to do the right thing at all times. Doing okay? Yeah, doing great. And it almost then felt like, in order for this Asian American character to exist, he has to be useful. So then when you left Walking Dead, was it good guy role after good guy role? Yeah, it's not that there's anything wrong with those things, but it's that, that we can only be those things. And I think that's the battle. But choosing his latest complicated role in a film called Minari was relatively easy. I read the script and I was blown away. I was in tears. Woo! Woo! Go! Go! Woo! Woo! Oh, Seeing the words of how a life similar to mine could be put on a page was very liberating. And I was just like, oh, cool, I gotta, I gotta do this. <laughs> and it left you in tears. Oh, yeah. This thing continues to leave me in many, many tears. I've been crying throughout this whole process. <laughs> Yun plays Jacob, a Korean immigrant who moves his family from California to an Arkansas farm in pursuit of his American dream. Jacob, he's, he's an interesting man. He decided once he got to America that he doesn't want to be around other Korean Americans. And he wants to strike out on his own into the Wild West, in a way, to Arkansas. Writer-director Lee Isaac Chung based the film, which was shot in Oklahoma over 25 days, on his own family's story. For me, this film is about a family, first and foremost, that moves to a brand new place in a whole new situation that they've never been in, and they only have each other. Go to the Mark Yongna. Stephen Yun saw his family in the movie, too. This movie is about the American dream. Mm -hmm. And your dad had his own American dream. Mm. What was that? Well, my dad, he was an architect in Korea. He was doing well for himself. And he, he took a business trip over to Minnesota. And he told me that he saw the land. And he was like, I need to move here. And then my dad had to restart from scratch. The Yuns left South Korea when Stephen was four and ended up in Michigan with hopes that their son might someday go to med school. I really broke my parents down from an early age. Um, I didn't give him any false hope that I was going to be a doctor. I think it was just like, let me take a bio class and then I'll show you the grade that I get so you know that this is not for me. Yun went to college to study psychology, but when he joined an improv group, everything changed. It kind of just like clicked in for me and I was like, that is fascinating. Why do you think it clicked? Uh, maybe it was freedom. After graduation, he earned a coveted spot with the Second City Improv in Chicago. His parents were supportive of his career choice, to a point. My parents and my worried uncles and aunts told my cousin Mikey to call me to persuade me away from doing this. And then Mike calls and he's like, hey man, look, my mom and dad told me to call you to like tell you to stop doing this, but like just do whatever you want. I'm just like, just do it. <laughs> so Jan took a huge leap 
he left the Midwest and headed to Hollywood. How scary was that? <laughs> it wasn't that scary, if I'm gonna be honest with you. I just woke up one day and I was like, I gotta go. I told everybody I was moving, so I couldn't back out. And at the tender age of 26, Stephen Yun won what was essentially the casting lottery, that part on The Walking Dead. How soon after you got to LA were you able to find work? I botched a bunch of auditions because I was so nervous. And then six months after I had gotten there, uh, which is not a popular thing to tell, I apologize. Six months? Yeah. And you apologize for that? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> happened too bad. fast. <laughs> yeah, I just, you know, you know, that's usually not the traditional journey. So um, I'm very grateful. Steven, light in the middle, please. Steven. Now his non-traditional journey has earned the 37-year-old a bunch of Oscar predictions. If they're right, he'd be the first Asian American nominated for Best Actor. But to Steven Yun, married father of two, the film itself is a gift. To have kind of understood my parents in such an immersive and profound way that I don't think anyone else has ever experienced in this way to like act it out in a movie. That's crazy. And he got to watch it with his parents at Sundance. After the movie was done, I looked over at my dad and then he put his hand on my shoulder and then I put, you know, I reciprocated and then we just like sobbed. What do you think gets to you talking about this? It's a reconnection. I think generations miss each other right now. We're doing this a lot. So it's connection that's making me emotional because I don't know if I've had it in a way that I thought I did until now.